there is an inescapable fact that all the American people know, everybody, it doesn't matter what political party you're in. Joe Biden and his administration have created a catastrophe on the border. Everybody knows it. And the American people are demanding that we do something about it. We're trying. As you all well know, many months ago, the House Republican majority passed H.R. 2. That's our, our Secure the Border Act, which has all the necessary provisions to get this catastrophe under control. Why did we pass the legislation? We passed it because the president has refused to use his executive authority to reverse the catastrophe that he used his executive authority to create. That's the fact. We're desperate to try to get this done. We've been trying for nine months longer to reverse the damage that they've done. The president has refused to act. It's been noted this morning, today, the Homeland Security Committee will take the next necessary step that's available to us, marking up and passing articles of impeachment for Secretary Mayorkas. He has presided over and helped usher in the largest illegal immigration catastrophe in our nation's history. It's not even close. Again, this is a self-evident truth that everyone knows. He has willfully undermined America's laws. He's made false statements to Congress and the American people. He made false statements to me personally in the Judiciary Co uh, Committee many months ago. And he has handicapped law enforcement. Now, now the president, this is laughable, the president is trying to switch, you know, flip the script. He wants to try to blame House Republicans in some way for the national security and humanitarian catastrophes that he caused. I, I, I can't make a full judgment on the national security supplemental as the full details have not yet been released. But based on the news reports of this agreement that have been leaked, that Secretary Mayor Mayorkas, by the way, helped negotiate, it seems the new authority to shut down the border would kick in only after as many as 5,000 illegal crossings uh, happen each day. Why? Why would we do that? Illegal immigration is illegal. It is against the law. Why would you tolerate 5,000 a day before you sought to, to uh, suddenly enforce the law? That would be surrender. The goal should be zero illegal crossings a day, not 5,000. And all the president's authority should be utilized at zero. We have an unmitigated crisis. And the president can take executive authority immediately, and he's pretending as though he does not know that. It's, it's outrageous. The American people are demanding action. We are going to deliver it in every way we possibly can, and we'll continue uh, on that course. Are you simply trying to kill this to help him on the campaign? No, Manu, that's absurd. We have a responsibility here to do our duty. Our duty is to do right by the American people, to protect the people. The first and most important job of the federal government is to protect its citizens. We're not doing that under President Biden. We, are, we have only a tiny, as you know, razor thin, actually a one vote majority right now in the House. Our, our majority is small. We only have it in one chamber, but we're trying to, to use every ounce of leverage that we have to make sure that this uh, issue is addressed. I have talked to, to former President Trump about this issue at length, and, um, and he understands that. He understands that we have a responsibility to do here. The president, of course, President Trump, wants to secure the country. President Trump is the one that talked about border security before anyone else did. He ran on, as you remember, building the wall. Why? Because he saw this catastrophe coming. He knew that if we did not get control of it, we would be in this situation. And that's why President Trump took executive actions. He used his executive authority to get that system under control. President Biden came in reflexively and did exactly the opposite. And that is what has caused this crisis. It is well documented. 